In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the North Face Wawona 6, and I'm also going to show you how to take it down, pack it away, give you all the setup and pack away timings, plus a few of my own personal tips on how to do so. So here's me unboxing the North Face Wawona, and here's everything that I found in the box. This is the tent body right here, this is the orange rainfly, here are the poles in a separate carry bag, here are the stakes, guidelines, and instructions in another smaller carry bag, and finally here's the bigger carry bag that I took everything out of. After I took all the poles out of the carry bag, I got these four poles, and I'll explain them to you in a bit. I also got 14 stakes plus these two orange guidelines. And now to set up the North Face of Mona, first grab the tent body, lay it on the ground, and position it the way you want to. To do so, you can actually see the front door here, even without it being put up. Now, here are all four poles that we have to set up with this tent, and first, we're gonna need these two orange colored poles. Grab one of the orange poles first, and insert this pole into one of the orange pole sleeves on the Wawona, which is very nicely color-coded and makes it very user-friendly. One not-so-great thing I notice here, though, is that these orange pole sleeves are a little bit long, and the orange poles snagged on these pole sleeves quite a bit. The first pole that I'm putting up here isn't too bad, and usually only snags about one, sometimes it doesn't snag at all. However, after that, you gotta do the exact same thing with the other orange pole, and when I was sleeving it through, my second pole here snagged a whopping three times, and there was quite a bit of running back and forth to undo the snagging to get the poles through. So, if you have this same problem, don't worry, just take your time to undo the snag. When you're done with both orange poles, you'll get this X shape at the top of the tent, like this. Before we prop these two poles up, and this is my first tip, I recommend staking down the four corners of the tent body lightly, because it really helps with putting up these two orange poles, especially if you're setting this up yourself, like what I'm doing here. There's this orange webbing at each corner that you can push your stakes through, and this grommet here is for the orange poles, which I'm gonna show you now. Now look for the orange pole that's at the bottom, go to one end of that orange pole, and insert the tip of that pole into the grommet on the orange webbing, right here, like this. Then go to the other end of that same bottom orange pole, step onto the tent body if you need to, like what I'm doing here, prop the pole up using the pole sleeve and feed as much pole as possible through the sleeve until you can bend down and secure that end of the pole into the grommet at the corner as well. I don't know exactly why, but the bottom pole of this Wobona is somehow easier to set up first, and this is my second personal tip. And using the pole sleeve to prop the pole up is important, and this is my third personal tip. Now go to one end of the top orange pole and just slide the tip of the pole into the grommet like so. And do the exact same thing for the last corner. I'm not gonna lie, somehow this corner here and this corner only was ridiculously difficult for me to set up. It was extremely, extremely tight. I had to not only unstake that corner, plus the two corners next to it, and I also had to use all my strength just to get the pole into the grommet. So this is my fourth tip. I recommend setting this tent up in your yard or your house before going camping, just to allow the tent to kind of break in a little bit, and that corner will get easier to set up after a while. I wouldn't recommend just winging it for the first time at camp because it's so hard to get it set up the first time. Moving along, zip the front door up, and now we need our third pole, which is this black pole. It's completely straight with no bendy sections, unlike this last pole here. Grab this straight black pole and insert it into the black pole sleeve at the front of the tent. I like that this black pole sleeve isn't too snaggy, it snags at most once when I push the pole through. With the black pole in the pole sleeve, go to one end first and secure the end of the pole into a grommet sewn onto a black webbing, which I'll show you in a bit. First, here is me setting up the other end of the black pole by securing it into the grommet too, which is somewhere around here. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Here's a grommet in the black webbing, which is again nicely color-coded for an easy setup. Here's the black pole set 
up, and here's the grommet and the other black webbing at the other end. With these three poles set up, it's time to attach all the pole clips, and all together, there will be 10 pole clips to attach. Basically, each side of each orange pole has two pole clips, like so, so all together, eight orange pole clips. And each side of the black pole has one pole clip, like so, so two black pole clips are set up. Again, I really like the color coding of the pole clips as well. Now it's time to stake down the tent body. Each length of the tent has four stakes, two at the corners that you might have already staked down like I recommended somewhere at the beginning of this video, and there are another two stake loops in between, like so. The other length of the tent is exactly the same, so there are eight stake loops in total for the tent base. Now grab the rain fly, and what I like to do is to look for this long brown strap, which is supposed to be at the front of the tent. Then I raise this over my head as much as possible against the tent body and without letting go of that strap, I just walk around the tent and drag the entire rain fly along with me until the rain fly gets pulled up above the tent like so. After that, undo the clump of rain fly over here and just spread it out nicely over the tent body like so. And be gentle here so you won't accidentally pull the rain fly down and then you'd have to redo everything again. And basically this is me adjusting the rain fly to get it into the right position. To check that the rain fly will be set up correctly over the tent, go to the front and you should be able to locate the black pole sleeve here. This will form the vestibule at the front of the tent. And of course the long brown strap is here at the front as well. Now to secure the rain fly and make sure it doesn't slide off or fly off, I like to go to the back and secure it there first. There are these two toggles at the back of the rain fly to be attached to these two loops on the orange pole sleeves of the tent body. Now grab the last of the four tent poles, which is this black pole, and it has a bend in two different sections of the pole right here. Insert this black bendy pole into the front black pole sleeve of the vestibule. The ends of this black pole go into the grommets on the long black strap that I was holding onto, like so. Here you can see why this black pole needs to be bent in two sections to form the vestibule. And here's the other grommet on the other side of the pole. Now attach the six pole clips of the vestibule to the black bendy pole, and there are three pole clips on each side, like so. After that, attach the grommets of the rain fly to the poles of the tent. This side of the tent has two grommets, one black grommet and one orange grommet, and this other side of the tent has the exact same two grommets, so four in total. Here's a close-up shot of the black grommet of the rain fly, and here's a close-up shot of the orange grommet. Now look for the long black strap again and use that to pull the vestibule out at the bottom to make it as taut as possible. Then use two stakes to stake it down. The long black strap has two webbing loops that you can push your stakes through, one here and another there. And I know it looks kind of weird now, so that's why we need another two stakes for the vestibule. Look for the two orange webbings at the bottom of the vestibule, again pull them out to make them as taut as possible, and stake them down. Now it looks more like a vestibule. Here's a close-up of one of the orange webbings. It has a buckle for adjusting the length of this webbing, and I use this elastic loop at the bottom for the stakes. The four grommets of the rain fly that we attached just a minute ago also come with buckles to make the rain fly a little bit tighter. Here's me adjusting them right now, and I really like that even the buckles are nicely color-coded. Now grab the two unattached orange guy lines that the north face provided, and we're going to attach them to the tent. For the first one, I like to attach it to this orange loop over the vestibule, basically to make the vestibule sturdier, and I usually use just a simple hitch to attach the guy line, like so. And for the second guy line, I'm just going to attach it to one of the windows, and I'm going to guy it out like this. You don't have to guy out the window if you don't want to, because there are actually six more pre-attached guy lines around the tent. Here's what all six of them look like. Unfortunately, we've already used up all 14 of our stakes. We used eight for the tent body, four for the vestibule, and two for the two guy lines. So I had to dig out six of my own stakes for the six guy lines. And here's me guying out the six guy lines. Basically, there are three on each length of the tent, like so. 
on top of these six pre-attached guidelines and the other two guidelines, there's actually another three guideout points, one for the other window and two more for these two vents, one on each length of the tent. So you gotta use your own guidelines for these two if you want them guided out. Now unzip one of the doors to the vestibule, go inside and attach the velcro strips of the rainfly to the poles of the tent. For this part of the tent, there are three velcro attachments. There are two at the sides here, and these velcro attachments are to go over both the orange and black poles, and there's one velcro at the top here to go over just the black pole. There's actually two more velcro attachments at the back here, which I didn't bother to put on, but you can if you want to. And if you want to refresh your memory on the road, here are the instructions that you get with this Wawona 6. You're okay, they took me some time to kind of figure out, and it's much easier to understand after actually watching YouTube videos like this one. And now here's a full time lapse of me setting up the North Face Wawona 6 on my own with no help from anyone else. But before I let you know exactly how long this entire setup took me, if you found this setup video and my tips helpful, it would mean so much if you could help me hit that like button. Thank you and I really appreciate it. Moving along the entire setup process, including staking and guiding out the entire tent, took me about 20 minutes. But this timing is based on me having set up this Wawona 6 at least half a dozen times, I know exactly where everything goes, and all my guidelines are already attached because I'm too lazy to take them down. So on your first go setting up this tent, you'll probably take a little longer, maybe about 30 to 40 minutes or so to figure it out. Taking down the Wobona 6 is pretty simple, it's just the opposite of the setup, I never had any issues, and just taking down the entire tent like so takes me about 7 minutes. As for the pack away back into the carry bag, here's how I normally do it. As for the rainfly, I pack it up by just folding it in half continuously while tucking all the guidelines in nicely until it looks about a nice small enough size like so and then I place it back into the carry bag. As for the tent body, I usually just fold it in half one, two, three, four times and I usually put the carry bag beside it to gauge how small I want to get it down to. After that, I roll it up push as much air out as possible and put it back into the carry bag beside the rainfly. And this is what the tent body and rainfly look like together in the carry bag. And of course all the stakes go back into the smallest carry bag, all the poles go back into the other separate carry bag, and I just dump them both inside the orange carry bag. The stakes are here, tucked into one corner, and the poles are here. Then I just use my legs to compress the bag down as small as possible while using the drawstring here to get the opening as small as possible so nothing will fall out of the bag after it's all packed up. And this pack away took another 7 minutes or so for a total timing of about 14 minutes. For a full review of the North Face Ramona 6, including tests like spaciousness, rain protection, wind protection, and loads more, check out this video right here. Thank you for watching this setup video and I'll see you in the next one.